Hey everyone, uh, the Raiders about six hours ago released quarterback Sean Smith, and that comes as welcome news to a number of Raider fans who didn't like either his play on the field or his off the field issue involving a domestic dispute last fall. So, if you think about it, it now marks the second cornerback the Raiders have released in, what, three weeks? And it's clear that now, it's clear at least that one major focus of John Gruden's Oakland Raiders project is going to be a completely rebuilt secondary. Dave Emerson and now Sean Smith are gone. That's right. And we have Obi Melifonu, he's recovering, and we have Galen Conley, the two major draft pick stars who really haven't seen any appreciable time on the field for because of injuries waiting in the wings. I believe the Raiders are making room in anticipation for bringing on Micah Fitzpatrick from Alabama should Fitzpatrick fall to them in, at number 10, which could happen. If if it's not Fitzpatrick, uh, or the Raiders may be making a move to move up in another kind of way. But it's clear right now that by the time we reach preseason, the Raiders' secondary as compared to two years ago will be completely different, completely 100% different. Now, the Buffalo Bills traded for, or, or traded away, uh, Cordy Glenn. And Cordy Glenn was their left offensive tackle and a mainstay with the team since 2012. However, in 2017, a series of nagging injuries resulted in spotty appearances. However, when he did play, he was very effective. Very effective. The move, this move, consists of a trade with the Cincinnati Bengals, who do need a solid plug-and-play left tackle. They get it in this man. So the Bills get the Bengals' eighth pick in the 2018 NFL Draft, and they also get the Bengals' fifth pick, fifth round pick, excuse me, in the same draft, whereas, get this, the Bengals not only get Cordy Glenn, but they get the Bills' 21st pick, and they get the Bills' sixth pick. That's not bad. So basically, it's a swap plus a player, all because the Bills don't want to pay this player $6.5 million and a good reason that they don't is because his appearance was spotty, even though there's no question but that he was effective when he did play. The question is, could they count on him? So now, you know, that problem, if you will, is in the possession of the Cincinnati Bengals and not the Buffalo Bills. Still, it's, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't come away but feeling that the Bengals got the better end of this deal. You know, injuries are not certain. Just as it isn't certain that a person's, you know, going to get injured, it's also not certain that, hey, you know what? <laughs> They're going to stay healthy or not, right? You don't know. But do you think that because those injuries happened and he received the necessary treatment, which he did, that he would come back healthier the next year? So, from that perspective, you know, the Cincinnati Bengals really got a great, a great, 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 great pickup. And yet, yet, they still remain in the first round. That's pretty good. That's some pretty good dealing on their part. Now, as far as what the Raiders were going to do, beyond this, uh, let's keep an eye on it. But anyway, I just want to get that out there that those two moves occurred. Also, Zenny62Media 
has been approved for the NFL annual meeting once again. That's in Orlando this time. And that's coming up March 25th. March 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th. Yeah. All right. So uh, I am still sick. So I don't plan to do a show tonight. Uh, I should recover by Wednesday. However, I'm feeling good enough to bring this to you right now. Thank you. And please, if you haven't done so before, subscribe to Zenny62 on YouTube. Thank you very much. Oh, thanks, Vesper. He says, I hope... I'm feeling better. I'm getting there. I'm headed in the right direction. I'm not quite there. Got a long way to go. But I'm, I'm headed in the right direction. Okay, thanks.